Lands a grenade wow, shot. A spawn frag. Yeah, Bio landed a grenade shot there. We're gonna hop back over to Rafa's point of view. And uh, Raph is at the back part of the map and uh, trying to deny uh, the, the spiral staircase uh, uh, entryway there. Indeed. Yeah, Bio uh, was putting up quite a good challenge here at the beginning, but has been having trouble getting any recent kills. Nice little plasma jump to get the red. You don't see that a whole lot. It's usually the RJ people use to get up there. Yeah, but he doesn't have a rocket. Um, Rafa is able to secure that rocket, and uh, he's he's pushed Bio back, um, expecting him to come out of the portal. It's not going to happen. But uh, yeah, we're, we're just seeing just map dominance. What Rafa does best, and he's going to use plasma here oh, because cool. he knows that Bio is short on armor, and uh, finishes off with a mid-air rail. Very nice. He's hurting right now, even though he picked up the red. His health is low. But he, he tags Bio with the rail. We're gonna hop, hop over and it looks like Bio's able to grab himself Mega Health. That's gonna put him up to 145 and 50. Raph is sitting at 100 and 125, so uh, stack-wise they're actually pretty even at the moment. And so if Bio can uh, get the weapons and get the drop, he might be able to get the frag. Yeah, Bio waiting out at the red, trying to do a little ambush. They're both waiting out here, sneaking around. Oh, Bio gets a nice rail. Oh, but Rafa predicts a rocket perfectly and hits him as he peeks around the corner. How are we doing accuracies and uh, favorite weapons here, Matt? Alright, we got Rafa sitting at a 28 accuracy with a rocket launcher. Bio has a 32% accuracy with a railgun. Seeing a lot of uh, action here at red. Uh, Rafa having the height advantage. Pops down. He's going to try to finish off Bio here. Uh, Bio trying to do a fadeaway rail. He's able to duck around the corner. Ducks back uh, to the portal side and gets shoddied when Rafa has only eight health remaining. Wow. Uh, talk about robbery. I mean, uh, somebody just fucking looted Bio's pockets because that frag was in his hands. Uh, and he was just not able to some... get eight more points of damage. Well, you saw there was some great rail work, and wow, nice mid-air rocket. Totally doing a ton of damage there as he was being chased by Bio, and just a nice shot. So just a quick, uh, I guess you'd call it a station check here. We've got uh, Matcom as my co-host, and you're listening to Grease Scotsman. We are QuakeLive.tv. I just want to mention that because I know that we've got some new viewers tonight. And I want to make sure that uh, everyone is uh, enjoying the Shoutcast. This is our King of the Hill. Uh, this is a weekly event. And we're, we're burning down to the last 15 seconds of this match. Rafa remaining the king. And uh, he's been able to take care of Bio. But uh, hats off to Bio for putting up one hell of a fight here. It looks like we're going to have a frag in the last two seconds. No! Uh, the final score will remain 16 to 2. GG's. So I think our next challenger is going to be Walter, also from In and Out. It's like an In and Out convention in here. Sadly, uh, with the way that Raph is playing, they have been coming in and out. He says, let's do this. All right, we're going to get underway here. Walter versus Rafa. Rafa defending a crown after winning. Uh, let's see. He DC'd once, so I think this is his sixth challenger. Is that Three, right? two, one. Walter getting a rough start, starting out with the grenade launcher only. Rafa able to grab a red. Doesn't really have uh, much in the way of weapons. Let's take a look. He's got a shoddy and a bit of yellow armor. Walter really stuck. Um, this is actually one of the worst spawns you can get. But Walter handles it well. Uh, he's managed to not die yet. Oh, here comes Rafa trying to go up strong. Walter uh, trying to RJ to get out of that situation. Does so successfully. Still no armor form, though. That's got to be disheartening. Chris Scotsman, supposedly Walter has the, quote, best movement in the game. 
I don't know who this is according to, but uh, it is supposedly something that may have been said about him. Okay. Well, he's definitely showing it off tonight. Uh, great awareness by him to not have been fragged at this point with such a difficult uh, spawn. Walter, uh, <laughs> yeah, Walter Rafa Walter. is stacking up on all the items. I mean, he is full up with, you know, 170 armor and HP. And Walter's just playing a little cat and mouse here. Very nicely done. And oh, and without a very any armor, nice rail. Yeah, without any armor, uh, he was uh, fodder for one shot here. Rafa's going to try to extend that lead by two. He does so with a shoddy. I swear, if Walter can get some friggin' items, uh, he'll, he'll do quite well. There he goes. He gets, a, a, I think, his first bit of armor of the night. Dodges a rail, ducks underneath it, um, takes a rocket. Now uh, we got uh, Rafa going up strong with the rail, and he's able to pull Walter as he tries to jump through that archway. Four to nothing. We're going to swap back Five over to Rafa's nothings. point of view. A pay, apparently, people in uh, IRC don't agree with best movement in the game. There's been quite a few comments. <laughs> yeah, Walter, you know, played some good defense at the beginning, but eats a grenade on that spawn, and he keeps spawning there and getting spawn killed. Walter pulls off his clan tag. <laughs> we have had a lot of, uh, yeah, IO guys in here tonight. They have gone in and out, I guess, when it comes into challenging Rafa. I just noticed something interesting. The, uh, uh, there it is. I guess it's not until you switch um, perspectives. Uh, in the spectator HUD, the leaderboard will not update. Uh, the... Huh. Interesting. I'm gonna flip back over to Rafa's point of view here. Uh, he's able to uh, pull out yet another frag. Eight to nothing. We got BLT saying most of us met dueling. Yeah, Rafa doing a nice job here. Uh, this time, not giving any sound cues uh, to Walter as to where he would be. And he's able to tag Walter with a bit more splash damage. Oh, and there goes his mouse. Lucky him that it wasn't in the <laughs> middle of a battle. <laughs> Walter nailing a nice rail on Rafa. And uh, has red armor in hand. Is going to grab it again. And, uh, oh, eats the rail, down to 58 health, gets another one against Rafa, and he's going to see, no, he's going to back off here and maybe go get a little bit of uh, health, and I grab some yellow. Okay, I'm going to follow Walter here because he has the better stack, and uh, he is on the warpath here. Let's see if he's going to be able to convert Rafa, plugging a rail into him, and uh, Walter trying to make the decision about when he wants to pop out around that corner, and... Uh, let's see, Walter's going to uh, be able to stack back up 179. Uh, we got red armor about to spawn. Walter falling down the pit. Rafa looking down below, trying to get a splash shot. Uh, 92 health. Here comes a rail. Rafa misses it. Rafa is waiting for Walter to make a push for that red. It's not going to happen because Walter gets on the board with a beautiful rail, pulling Rafa down 8 to 1. And uh, Walter now down to 20 health. Really needing a Hail Mary Mega, but that's not going to happen because uh, he's hurting very bad. No health for him there to pick up. And he waits and he waits. And he's going to lose red at this point. He dodges the nades as they come through. He wants this health to spawn so badly. And nails a great shot on Rafa. Rafa does a plasma jump. Uh, Walter's been doing all this with 19 fucking health, and he is uh, uh, backing off. There's Mega. His salvation arrives. He manages to survive all of that uh, with 19. Now he's on the warpath. Path. Rafa, close range with the shoddy. Got Walter down. That is it. Yes, you cannot go close range with that shoddy. Wait. He, uh, he won with the shoddy, and it was Walter that pulled out the rail and sort of made a mistake there. <laughs> Walter.
Walter down to 50 health. Going up strong though. 